Though they live on opposite sides of Boston and lead very different lives, 38-year-old Aaliyah Group and 52-year-old Peter Brook have something very important in common. They both know what it's like to be sick with little or no health insurance. Aaliyah has epilepsy, and it caused a problem when she applied for insurance at her first job out of college. One week into the job, I was notified by my employer that the insurance provider had denied me coverage because of my pre-existing condition. And so I was left alone to pay for my care on a, a very low salary. At the time, she was a low-paid community organizer, taking home less than $1,000 a month and had to pay about 200 of it out of pocket for her daily anti-seizure medication. It was too big a bite out of her check. So I took it about every third day just to be able to sort of eke out, uh, make, it, make it more affordable for myself, which meant that I had seizures on occasion. Even when she got insurance at another job a few years later, Aaliyah says the plan was so limited, she still couldn't afford the care she needed when she came down with what started as a minor infection. When I went to go fill the prescription, I couldn't afford it because it was so expensive and I would have to pay for it out of pocket. So I said, okay, well, you know, again, I'll make a choice to say, I don't need it, I'll get better on my own. She didn't get better, she got worse and ended up in the emergency room with a kidney infection. It all added up to about $24,000 in medical bills. You know, I wish that I'd been able to make a different choice, but I couldn't. About five miles away in South Boston, Peter Brook also knows what it's like to go without health care. He's had type 1 diabetes since he was 14. But as a handyman without steady work, he spent years uninsured and had trouble managing his disease. Before health care, I would use an insulin needle. I'd use it for a month or a month and a half. I would just hole up in my little studio apartment here in Southie, and I'd be sick for weeks on end. I wouldn't, absolutely wouldn't even go to a doctor. Even when I was sick, I wouldn't go to a doctor. I would go there on an extreme when I was almost dead, and, you know, a neighbor would call, and I, they'd pick me up like a wet towel and put me on a cot and take me away in an ambulance, and then I'd live in the hospital for a couple of weeks. He even treated his own fingers that had been broken on the job. I just tape one finger to the other, immobilize it, let it do its healing thing. But of course, you see, then it doesn't heal correctly. His hand doesn't function like it used to function, so save me $300 in hospital bills. Their experiences led both Aaliyah and Peter to help lobby the state legislature for passage of the Massachusetts mandatory health care law in 2006. Both say the bill made things change for the better. It improved my life drastically by ensuring that I can get the care that I need and make sure that my seizure disorder is cared for. Would you say your health is better now since reform? Oh, oh my health is much better. I have conscientious, very professional, what I call world-class healthcare now. 